This video presented by OutWest Officials, it's the Dodgers and Astros. Watch this sequence right here. Oh my, okay. Oh my, 3-0 pitch sails over the head of Alex Bregman. There might have been a little intent behind that one, gauging on how far that pitch missed and in a 3-0 count. Umpire can't enforce the unwritten rules, but the umpire has to stand by to enforce potential retaliation that is in violation of the official baseball rules regarding intentionally pitching at a batter. That was our discussion in February around the time oh. Joe Kelly did this. He broke a window during pitching practice in the backyard. Does that establish his lack of control yeah. and, cool. oh, this, this guy might be onto something here. This is a groundbreaking tweet. Slowly hit right side. Muncie gets the force out on Bregman. Brantley will beat the return throw. And some of the Astros not real happy with Joe Kelly. Brantley kind of looked at him because did Kelly look like he, he couldn't uh, find the bag? The, he stepped in front of the bag and I think Michael Brantley went to go step on the bag and proceeded to step on Joe Kelly and for whatever reason Joe Kelly took umbrage with it. Yeah, Kelly's blocking the bag. Where's yeah. he supposed to go? Brantley's doing his job and hitting the base. So Brantley wasn't the first one to react. Remember the Atlantic League? At some point, they were talking about putting a base by another base like softball to avoid this. By the way, pitcher's totally blocking the base. Runner's in his right to do that. And who is that? It's Chris Guccione. Look at that do. It's fantastic. He must have been inspired by someone during the offseason. Timing was getting there for him. That one's over his head and all the way to the backstop. Both runners advance a base. That was a curveball that got away. Back to business, as the broadcaster says, that was a curveball, off-speed pitch that got away. Kelly appears not to have command over the off-speed. But given the context, and we talked about the heads-up in the preseason between especially these two teams, we, we are on the lookout for something, and everyone has this idea of an underlying subtext. Look at, look at the batter here. He's like, what, what are you doing? I know what you're up to. This is ridiculous. So this at bat's going to continue. There's another ball that's inside. Again, another off speed. Can't locate. Gets him to chase that one. It worked. Gets him to foul that one off. Gets him to foul another one off. And then watch what happens on the strikeout. Swing and a miss. Kelly able to get Correa and strand two runners on base. And a little talking in between innings between Joe Kelly and the Astros dugout. And Astros players starting to congregate near the Dodgers dugout and here come the Astros out of their dugout This all had to do with that 3-0 pitch to Bregman and Correa Is being held back remember the good old days MLB put out this news release pretending to care about the spread of well Prohibitions against unsportsmanlike conduct will be strictly enforced no bench clearing brawls or confrontations on the field or everyone's automatically ejected. Well, if you ejected everyone for this, there would be a double forfeit because you couldn't finish the game. But could something have been done earlier? Would there have been, if you were there, a warning, an ejection? I mean, the first pitch to Bregman, the 3-0, was definitely a fastball above his head. But other than that, well, I mean, what do you have? What do you do if you're an umpire there? Nothing happened after this during the game but it definitely violated MLB's policy. So, interesting stuff. 